breaking news. Both Jesse Rogers and John Heyman are now reporting that the Yankees are in agreement with Anthony Rizzo to play first base pending a physical. So, Jack, this is something we saw coming and we now know in some way, shape, or form. And again, as we always say, the physical has to be cleared. They have to cross the T's and dot the I's, but it looks like Rizzo's coming back. The sexiest name was Freddie Freeman once Olsen was gone. The most obvious and realistic name for the Yankees was Anthony Rizzo. I know that the Yankees talked with Freddie Freeman. I know that they talked to the A's about Matt Olsen. But the first baseman that I think we all kind of figured would be the more obvious or the more realistic option was Rizzo. Played 49 games for the Yankees last year. Had an OPS of close to 800 and just fit in so well, Bob. Sometimes players get traded to the Yankees, get traded to New York. They have stars in their eyes and they're a little bewildered and it takes a little time to get acclimated. Rizzo was not that kind of player. He got on that treadmill at 8 and, and, and jacked it up to 10. <laughs> he just kept going when he got to the Yankees. And you could see how the players around him uh, enjoyed being around him and how much he helped that Yankee as a lefty hitter. And I think one of the trends we've seen with the Yankees in Donaldson and Kiner Falefa yeah. and now in Rizzo, contact. Guys who put the ball in play. Sure, they can hit the ball out of the ballpark, especially Donaldson. But fewer strikeout guys. And Rizzo is a guy who every time up there is going to put a good at-bat on a pitcher. So you mentioned this, too, that he not only came in hitting the treadmill on an eight. Now, that was with his performance and what he was doing at the plate, the way he plays first base. He's obviously terrific defensively. But also the way he fit in that clubhouse. You mentioned that. On the other side of the infield, you've got Josh Donaldson, a new addition. More of an edgy guy. Rizzo was kind of a nice, comfortable fit. That's a good dynamic. When you have a new player in Rizzo, a new guy like Donaldson, who's getting to know his new teammates over the course of the next three or four weeks, to get to know their personalities and fit in. And now they welcome Rizzo back, a guy they loved having around, and how that can change potentially that clubhouse. Yeah, I think having veterans who have won Whatever their personality is, whether you're a little more laid back like Rizzo or whether you are that edgy guy like Josh Donaldson, when you're in a clubhouse and you can look across and see Rizzo's got a World Series ring on his finger, Donaldson has an MVP on his shelf, that matters to young players. That matters when you're in a losing streak and you need guys to try and pick you up. Had a lot of conversations with Paul O'Neill in the offseason, and he has talked about those types of conversations with Tino Martinez or Bernie Williams or Don Mattingly. And yes, you have to actually go out on the field and do it. But when you can talk to a player who has already done something that you're trying to do, it's going to make you that much better. We should point out, Bob, now with the Yankees adding Rizzo, I have to believe that they're going to try and execute some kind of trade for Luke Voigt. There's not going to be a spot for Voigt. They're already going to have to try and figure out what they're going to do with LeMahieu. I think LeMahieu is going to go back to what his original position, so to speak, was going to be in bouncing around the infield. But Luke Voigt's the odd man out right now. Now, if you could look at it in a smaller scope, you'd say, okay, well, why not keep Luke Voigt around, do a little DHing, a right-handed bat, a little bit of a, I wouldn't call it a platoon with Rizzo. But on the other hand, the, the thing that has bedeviled him, despite how much Yankees fans love him and some of the good numbers he's put up, he can't stay on the field. He can't stay healthy. That's been a challenge. And I think with Rizzo and then maybe LeMahieu filling in a little bit at first base, you get more continuity at that position. 